The fight against ISIS took a turn overnight, President Trump announcing this morning a key leader was killed in a raid by U.S. forces. David Daniel has more. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. U.S. forces raided a compound in northwest Syria on Saturday. Syrian activists circulated video allegedly showing the aftermath. Teams removed several adults and 11 children from the site, but al-Baghdadi attempted to flee through a tunnel with three children. President Trump said the nearly two-hour operation ended with the ISIS leader cornered by dogs. He ignited his vest, killing himself and the three children. His body was mutilated by the blast. The tunnel had caved in on it. Trump said removing Baghdadi has been a top priority of his administration and wants to send a message to any of the ISIS leader's potential followers. Today's events are another reminder that we will continue to pursue the remaining ISIS terrorists to their brutal end. But even with Baghdadi dead, intelligence groups are monitoring those who might be next in line to lead the terror group. We've already got them in our sights, and we'll tell you uh, that right now, but we know the successors. I'm David Daniel reporting.